Hello everyone, you've probably heard about the unique superpowers introduced in the boys' canon, and one name that stands out is Marie Moreau. With her uniquely disgusting blood manipulation powers, she leads the team of college-age soups attending Vots Godolkin University. Marie's powers are not something she was born with. Unlike most soups who discover their vot sponsored abilities as children, Marie developed hers upon hitting puberty. Now enrolled at Godokan University, Marie utilizes her powers in a variety of inventive and stomach-churning ways. But what exactly are these powers, and how do they work? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of Marie Moro's blood-curdling Compound V powers and explore their potential applications that could course through the veins of the entire The Boys franchise. And don't forget to stick around till the end for a discussion on a burning question. Could she take down Homelander with her powers? All right, without further ado, let's get started. Marie Morau's superpowers in Gen V can be best described as an almost complete dominion over blood. This control primarily manifests as the telekinetic manipulation of blood, but instances such as the tragic death of Marie's parents and her life-saving act. At the nightclub in Gen V episode 1 reveal that she can also coagulate and solidify blood. Marie's crimson projectiles are sharp enough to slice through skin and sturdy enough to topple trash cans, while the nightclub scene showcases her ability to clot blood, preventing fatal hemorrhages. Interestingly, Marie can exercise her compound V powers on both her own blood and that of others. However, it's still a mystery as to how close Marie needs to be to someone to use her powers. So far, in all instances shown in Gen V, Marie has been just a few feet away from the person whose blood she's manipulating. Up until now, Gen V has only depicted Marie Moreau using her powers on blood that is already visible. In episode 4, Marie's interaction with Rufus, a fellow student at Godalkin University with psychic abilities, takes a dramatic turn. Rufus, known for using his powers for cheap tricks, targets Marie. In response to his misbehavior, Marie accidentally uses her power on him, leading to an unexpected and gruesome incident hinting that she can influence a person's blood even when it's still inside their body regardless of whether there is an open wound or not. There might be a hidden danger within Marie's powers. In a flashback from Gen V Episode 1, a young and inexperienced Marie accidentally fires a blood missile at her mother's neck. Her father meets his end when an overwhelmed Marie screams, triggering a violent explosion of her mother's blood on the floor. While the present-day Marie has significantly more control over her powers, heightened emotions could potentially lead to another catastrophic mishap. Marie Morrow primarily uses her power as a means to create weapons. She cuts her hands to release blood, then shapes the liquid into whatever tool is needed for the situation at hand. This usually results in either rapid-fire blood bullets or long red whips, like the attack Mary uses to apprehend the runaway student in Episode 1 and in Episode 4 against Sam. As a former resident of Vought's Red River facility, it's likely that Marie received no formal training for her superpowers before attending university and had to rely on self-taught techniques using gym equipment. Marie's evident hesitation when healing the nightclub victim in Gen V suggests that reinserting someone's blood back into their body is not a technique she has performed before. Also in Episode 6, she used her powers on Kate to save her from cardiac arrest. This implies that there are numerous ways Marie can manipulate blood that she hasn't yet explored in practice. Indeed, there are countless theoretical applications for Marie's soup powers in Gen V. For instance, if Marie were fighting a soup with a small cut, she could potentially use that opening to drain their entire body of blood. The possibilities are both fascinating and terrifying. Finally, let's find out whether Marie Moreau could take down Homelander. Homelander is considered the gold standard of Vought soups, the benchmark against which all others are compared. There are very few soups in Amazon's The Boys universe whose powers could potentially pose a threat to Homelander, but Gen V's Marie Moreau might just be one of them. Given the extreme toughness of Homelander's skin, the blood weapons that Marie creates from her own hands would likely be ineffective against him. However, if another soup such as Queen Maeve Soldier Boy or Starlight could inflict a bleeding wound on Homelander, Marie could theoretically kill the leader of the Seven by using her powers to drain his entire blood supply. Marie Morau's chances of defeating Homelander would significantly increase if she can manipulate a person's blood while it's still inside their body. 
Presumably, even Homelander relies on his heart beating to survive. Marie's blood powers might allow her to stop his circulation or solidify the blood inside Homelander's veins, effectively killing him from within. It seems that Godolkin University may have recognized the potential of Marie's powers, even if Marie herself has not fully grasped it yet. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think Marie could take down Homelander with her unique abilities? Drop your thoughts and theories in the comments below. I'm looking forward to reading your insights. That's a wrap up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'll meet you next time with another awesome video. Bye.